Hello everyone, Amelia and Moore here, and welcome to day 17 of the Talk to the Camera Challenge. Today's video is, like the prompt, is talking about someone who inspires me, or inspired me probably just to start doing videos. So, I started doing YouTube in 2020. Um, mid to late 2020, I started in September. And one of my first videos was actually an Unis Honest themed video. Um, I was really into Unis Honest when that was around. Um, I still am, as you can see, even though they've been gone for four years, which is crazy to think about because so much has changed since then, even just between Mark and Ethan. But that's a whole other video anthology type thing um but yeah so i was really inspired by them to start recording videos and i was not consistent at first and i definitely didn't have any sort of a niche at first i was trying but it just didn't work out so i had like nature ASMR videos that just were really crappy quality I and like all these all my videos except for maybe like two are still published on my channel I left them I think the only ones I took off were my theme park news ones because I just wasn't happy with them um and the thumbnails because I just used images I found offline for the emails or the thumbnails so with Unis Honest, I really admired their, like, like, the way they did everything, how fun everything was, and how much they were helping people, especially during COVID. And how well they handled going from seeing each other in person for seven hours a day to being separated for seven months, basically. Um, so it was such a, like, interesting thing to see how they handled everything and I was like, I want to do that too. Um, and so I started, so um, Halloween of 2020, my pumpkin that I carved was actually Unis Honest themed. And that was my like first vlog that I like, that I'm proud of. It wasn't the best vlog because I didn't have, I didn't have a tripod. I didn't have anything at that point. So it was just me kind of going in not knowing how I was going to do everything. But, and the pumpkin turned out pretty well for not being very handy with the little tiny saw. So, I think that's probably one of the, of the older videos, the one I'm probably most proud of. Um. Yeah. Like, my introduction vlog was pretty good. That one always, like, that still has one of the most views on my channel aside from the music and Disney fireworks spectacular videos I did but yeah Unis Honest was a big ex inspiration another inspiration is definitely um Molly over at Mammoth Club I watched her when she was on um allears.net and again COVID um, so seeing her, like, vlog during COVID and, like, again, I was very attached to these channels because there was just nothing else going for me, you know? Especially during, like, summer break or whatever. So, she was, she's a really big inspiration even till this day. I'm like, I want to meet her and Alan and Max, too. Just the whole man fam, you know? And then... Um, again, in 2020, I started watching this vlogger called Oibi, and I don't, at first I was like, oh, he's cute, and he's doing a cool challenge, and so I started watching, and then I was like, okay, this content's actually really good and really engaging, and so I watched ever since, and I've talked to him and his now fiance, Brennan. So it's just, it's kind of interesting how a lot of things came full circle, but 
Oibi does vlogs kind of the same way I do, where there isn't particularly a niche. Like, he does theme parks and Pokemon slash TCG. But over, the, like, his entire YouTube, like, career, he's done vlogs of, like, moving and stuff like that. And I'm like, hey, I ended up doing the same thing because I was inspired by him. So it's kind of interesting to see the like foundations of like my channel and me as a creator and I just find it kind of interesting because when I was a kid you know the internet was still new and I didn't really have that much access to the internet my parents didn't want me to get exposed to things that a kid shouldn't be exposed to which was happening a lot so I just mainly my internet was watching like a couple music videos with my mom and playing the little flash games on DeviantArt. <laughs> so that was kind of my internet really and I listened to the radio and like my weird shaker mp3 thing and then I would watch like v VHS tapes and stuff. I never like we didn't get Netflix when it started becoming big. We still don't have Netflix. And so it's just really interesting to see how I, like, have evolved. And I just think it's interesting what inspires me and what helped shape who I am and what I do. Because, yeah, I probably could have become a fully, like, fashion creator or painting creator or whatever. But there's so many more aspects to me that it just doesn't seem right to lock myself into a niche and that's probably why I'm not really like that far along when it comes to views and subscribers and stuff because the YouTube algorithm doesn't like it you know but it's my channel I'm gonna post what I want and we'll just see where it takes us you know like yeah, it would be nice to get taken by the algorithm and go viral and stuff, but the odds of me going viral for something I'm not proud of are just kind of high. So it's just kind of a interesting, like, theory, I guess, you know? Yeah. I think also another weird inspiration is so I grew up in Pinellas County, Florida. So we, our Fox channel was Fox 13, Tampa Bay. And in the morning they had a segment with Charlie Belcher, one of the anchors. And he would go to all these different places and highlight them. to kind of help promote the community to go and try new things. And I loved watching it. Like when I was in elementary school, especially I watched it every morning before I went to school. And I was always I'm all I was always bummed because like in middle school and high school he would visit the schools in the area and he never visited mine when I was there and I was just like I want to never did never met him. I met one of the female anchors once though and that was a really cool experience. She was really nice. It was at a um animal event at the local park and she was there and I was like oh my gosh and she was like hi and then we kind of talked for a minute and then we went on our way and it was just kind of one of those small memories but it's like yeah that probably helped inspire me to want to share information and share my thoughts and be a figure for somebody you know I think I think that's it like aside from like the basic like my family and my friends and my pets you know but getting down to the nitty-gritty the specifics I think that's it yeah my cats are running around but anyway with that I will see you guys for day 18 of the talk to the challenge talk to the camera challenge um, I hope you guys have a good day, a good night. I will see you all tomorrow. Much love.
Amelia. Bye.